Honey ho, Stampers, Deb Valder here, your fun Stampers Journey Coach. Today I'm going to show you a beautiful heart-shaped card. This I'm going to highlight, it, the thing that I'm going to highlight today is going to be this embossing folder. It's called Heart You. And we have several of these in our new catalog. This is our annual catalog. And in this catalog we have three of them that have the embossed image right in the middle. I remember in the day when I was actually taking and having my husband cut out images, like ovals and whatnot, in the middle. But you don't even have to do this. That that work is done for you. I also want to point out to you that these um, embossing folders are only $4.95. If you compare that to others on the market, you're going to agree that they are absolutely a fantastic price. All of them are that, that um, price, except for our 3D ones, and they are only $5.95, a 3D embossing folder. So right over here, we have our 3D embossing folders, and all the rest of them are, are um, the ones that are $4.95. So you just can't beat that price. So this one is called Heart You. Um, like I said, it has this image in the middle. If you can see it, it's already embossed for you. So I, I went ahead and did that um, for you ahead of time. So this is what it looks like. It's got all of these um, crisscrosses on it, which make it absolutely very elegant. But then it's got this beautiful heart in the middle. And what coordinates with that are our heart... Um, thin metal dies. And these thin metal dies um, come in uh, a bundle. So you can get just the cutting ones all by themselves, or you can get the, the um, perforation ones all by themselves, or it comes in a bundle. So you save a little bit on that. And you know how much I love the pierced look. And that's what I did on this one right here. I'm going to show you this card later on. It has some really fun elements on the inside of it. Um, so this is a card for a later date. That's a happy birthday card. I want to focus on this card right here. So let's start with our card base. Um, this right here is the um, uh, Dark Roast cardstock. It is four and a quarter by 11, and I scored it at five and a half. Then I took some of my cool pool, and as I always do, I cut out the inside of it to save this for another piece of, of um, another card that we're going to do. And so we're just going to take and add some adhesive to this and add to the inside of our card. Alrighty, so. Let's line this up and add it to our card. Now, the next the next layer is going to be with our whipped cream cardstock. I'm going to stamp that ahead of time so that um, so that in case in, you know just in case I make a mistake, I can always redo it. There we go. I'm having a hard time lining that one up. Okay, so let's do that on the inside. So I have this cute, adorable little set that I'm going to use. Um, it's one of our ATSs, and uh, I'm going to use the heart for the inside, and for the outside is where I got the Love You. Two pieces, one set, absolutely adorable. So I'm going to bring in my Cool Pool ink right here, and just ink this up. Beautiful color. It matches the ink or the paper on the outside and the paper on the inside. I'm just going to stamp this right here in the middle, leaving enough room at the bottom for um, any words that I need. And then I'm going to come in with my words, hugs and kisses, and that comes from an adorable little stamp set called Great. Greet, um, I'm sorry, greet and shout. And um, it's just beautiful little um, sayings. Um, I took the hugs and kisses from that one. Cute, cute, cute. All right, so let's uh, take our hugs and kisses, take our um, black licorice ink, and we're just going to stamp the inside of that. All righty, so here we go. I'm lining up. The fun thing about these grids is not only can you line up the top, but what I do is I line up the grids on both sides also, um, and that just gives me um, uh, a better chance of getting it all straight. All right, so let's add some adhesive to that, and this is my Easy Glide. Love this. And we're going to add that right to the inside. Now I just got to the end of my Easy Glide. I'm going to show you how easy the Easy Glide is to um, refill. We're going to work on the, ins the outside next. But let me just show you the outside of my Easy Glide or um, how, to re how to refill it. You're just going to take and um, separate these two. You're going to take out this. This is the part that you're going to throw away. And you know you got to the end because there's the little red line. And I'm just going to take this one and add it to um, my cartridge. Alrighty, so you keep the outside, throw away the inside, and add a new inside for, um, for your... your uh, Ready to go. All locked and loaded. Ready to go. All right, so let's start doing the outside of this. All right? Now, the next thing that we're going to do is we've already got this embossed. So how about if we add that to our card just again with our Easy Glide? 
They call it Easy Glide for a reason, my friends. It is very, very easy um, to go along. You don't get any little boogers on the end of it, and um, it just adheres so nicely. Um, really nice, strong, sticking adhesive. Alrighty, so there's that part of it right there. The next thing that I did was I ran my hearts, the ones I just showed you, through my um, my platinum and uh, my platinum die cut machine, and um, this is what I came up with. So here is my original cut. That's what cut the um, heart out, and then the add-on, the one that I added to it, was the perforations. Now remember what I always tell you. You know about the chads, right? So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take it. I'm just going to run my finger across these. Can you see that? And when I do that, it's going to get rid of all of these. And that alleviates you having to do all that poking after you get done. And I only had a couple of them that I wanted to make sure were out of there. The next thing I'm going to do is to take my, um, my bloom tool. I'm going to change my pokey thing out of there because I don't need to poke anymore. And I'm going to add my little spatula. All right, so it's in there nice and snug. I'm going to take and just start this and run it all the way around. And that's what helps me get this out without ripping, tearing, or any of the above. All right, put my bloom tool back, put my, uh, my hearts away, and we're ready to start putting this together. All right, the next thing I'm gonna do is to take some, uh, some of my, uh, my foam squares, and I think I'll work with my big ones on this one because I only need a few. So these are my medium, these are the medium foam squares, and I'm gonna put one extra one right here, and I'll show you why. Alrighty, so now we'll take off the little uh, the little protective sheets here. I love these foam squares. They're so easy to work with. Alright, so now you're going to see that I have, oh, you know what I didn't do? I didn't stamp it. Alrighty, so for the sake of knowing that I have one already done that's stamped, okay, I'm going to take and add my foam dots again. Don't you worry, I will get that done. Um, I will get words on that one, trust me. Alrighty, so I'm just going to take these off again. And, whoops, here we go. And one more. Alrighty, now what we're going to do is we're going to take our white thread. No, actually this is our oatmeal thread right here. And I'm just going to cut off a piece, and it doesn't have to be any certain size, because we're just going to wing this, okay? So I'm just going to take that, I'm going to take my, this. that's why I added this extra one right here. I'm just going to take and make some loops, just like this. All different sizes, all around the same area. Okay, let's see, we'll just go like this. And we're just making loops, all right? And one more, I think, just to bring it all together. Okay, there we go. So on the outside of it, we have our little loops. I'm going to bring this one in just a little bit more. Okay, let's see what that looks like. Ah, beautiful, absolutely beautiful. All right, so now I'm just going to take and I'm going to line that up in my embossed square or my embossed heart. Okay, we're going to put it right in there like that. Isn't this absolutely gorgeous? These pieces in this in this um, catalog, just all of the embellishments, all of the tools that we have are absolutely amazing, and they are so affordable. Um, I need you to start doing some price comparisons because um, the, the product in this catalog are not only gorgeous, they are absolutely affordable. So now what I'm going to do from our new mini catalog, we have these things called um, Love Buds, and they come in two different colors and two different sizes. And I just took one of these Love Buds and added it to my card. So let's just take one of the smaller ones, and that one I used... Um, I use the red one. So for this one, I think I will use, I've been using them a lot, so I've only got a few to pick from here. I'm going to use the pink one, I think. And these are like a mulberry paper. The leaves are already on them. They're already put together. They are just absolutely gorgeous. Love buds, that's what they're called. And I'm just going to take my magnificent um, Journey Craft Glue, the one I keep raving about, well, the one I told you, if you buy nothing else, you need to buy our Journey Craft Glue because it is awesome. My 
Customers have dubbed it the orange glue. We used to call the other one by that color, so we're going to call this one by this color. So we're using the orange glue on this one. And um, the only thing I have left to do are my pearls. Now you might say, oh my gosh, that is so expensive to use that many pearls. Well, when you're making a card for somebody super uber special, which is what this one is for, um, you can never have enough pearls on anything. So um, you can use it without or you can use it with. Both of them are absolutely gorgeous, but I hope that you like the card that I did for today. If you have any questions, you know where to get a hold of me. Um, just take care, have a great day, and come back again.